Um, is the reception people coming yes. in here? Yes, they're outside oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yes, we can't make them wait. Let me get a couple questions. Yeah, no, no, One is, I noticed on this state-by-state -state thing on abortion, um, that's developed. You're on the state-by-state -state side. I've noticed that's become a big fight. Huckabee is for a national ban, right? Yeah, but I've never uh, had any other position. It's just a state issue. I mean, I consider it personally an act of violence, yeah. and I would argue that uh, we should respect life. But I've never assumed that this is a federal issue. I mean, all other acts of violence, uh, traditionally, uh, even to a large extent, still are in the last state. And when it comes to, I know you're being, it's interesting that I guess a lot of people are attacking you on the um, war side as if that weren't a conservative. Why do you think so many people think that being involved in wars is a conservative position? You know, it's, it's a narrow understanding of political power because, uh, you know, traditions of the Republican Party have not always been this. Uh, Bush didn't even run on that program, but even if you look at what uh, Republican leadership said in the House when Clinton was doing it, yeah. they gave, you know, DeLay and these other guys gave speeches like I would give. Yeah. So it's sort of a party loyalty thing, and of course the people that I attract think very little of, of that type of loyalty. They want loyalty to the Constitution, the rule of law, the principles of liberty, and not uh, blind loyalty to a party, when, even when they make mistakes. And of the many young people you've attracted, what do you think? Is it? Yeah, yeah, do a lot of them, are a lot of them tuned into the future social security collapse and how they're going to be paying for it? Is that a big issue? That and the war, the potential draft, and all these bills coming due, and and I think there's a natural instinct of young people being more objective. There was even news today, I guess it was in Georgia or someplace, you know, another potential spot. It's usually the young people, you know, think, think of who was leading the, the rebellion in Tiananmen Square, young people. So um, I think it's just traditionally young people uh, are more easily swayed by principle than yeah. by power and politics. In terms of, you know, well, I, I, I just got to ask one question. Uh, you, you say that you want to run and abolish the IRS. I understand that. Well, we're supposed to have an availability. So once let's the, get the IRS questions. is abolished. Excuse me, what we want to do is get rid of things. So we're trying to have a page here. No, you did. Uh, I came here for a press availability. This is now you run a campaign. Federal grants and such like that. Right. That would be the state. The states would have more money. If you had it, wouldn't take any. Press availability scheduled at 1220. I'm one of the only economists in America who would have to send it to Washington and getting it back. I made the news for you. Two questions in. Whether it's education, medicine, law enforcement, or work, they just get Well, then let me get another question. So you would have more money if you had it. We uh, had off if we did it five to get in for two hours okay. late. So that people making deal. whatever it's ten thousand, one hundred thousand, one million dollars a year, pay no federal tax. Would be the most ideal. And when we try to get a flight, we also get a But the spending has to be cut. Then I mean, you would have prosperity. But if you didn't start allow the money to be consumed and dumped overseas and wasted in bombs and war and all this, that money would all be here and it would help our economy. I would agree. Thank you, sir. Very good. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Paul. Can I give you something? It's going to be hard for me to get on the airplane. What is this? And it's a drawing that I did. Put a message on the bag, too. Oh, okay. And just. Oh, well, that's pretty neat. I'll have to find a place. It's always difficult for me to carry things in my very light brief. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I understand. But, uh, but I appreciate that yeah. very much. Thank you very much and, uh, for everything that you from do. I tits? Is that what you Littitz, said? PA. It's Littitz. in uh, Lancaster County. Oh, from down uh, near Gettysburg. Absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's where You're I wanted to go to school. And help I, I, you get that I'm back on. Great. Okay. Thank you very much.